Hey guys, what's going on? So we're here in the computer guys. I want to talk about how you can make at least $3,000 a month with YouTube in the year of 2018 following the principle that I'll be teaching you inside of this video. So watch it through and then you can actually you know, do the same thing if you follow the principle that I'm going to teach you. Now, if you, even if you're brand new, you're just getting started, if you follow the same principle that I follow, I believe that you can start making at least $3,000 a month with YouTube. Now, this is the back end of my YouTube channel. Um, this is the dashboard. This month, we got 1.1 million minute watch, over 263,000 views. 3,000 subscribers and growing and it's at $3,000 a month. Now, it's not that exciting to what I'm going to show you the principle on how to do it. $3,000 a month. Let me see if I go to my, my analytics where it shows everything a little bit deeper for the last 30 days. I'm going to break it down for the last 30 days. Okay. That's why you should build your own channel. As you guys can see, it kind of picked up. It did 281,000 views this month. And for the last 30 days, it's at $3,293. Now, if you just find my channel, you're new, um, you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment down below. Here's what I want to do for one of my subscribers. Um, every month, YouTube pay on the 22nd of the month, sometimes the 21st. So what I want to do, if you watch this video, I want to give $100 to one of my subscribers. But another for you to win, it's a giveaway. You got to leave a comment down below. Also, leave your PayPal email because I'll choose a I'll choose a winner and I'll send you the money through PayPal. So what you want to do is leave your PayPal email. And then once you leave your PayPal email, I'll just go ahead and send you a PayPal right inside of your pay PayPal and it'll actually go to you and then we'll get things rolling. So leave a comment down below and we can get that rolling. OK, like and subscribe this video. All right. So now let's talk about how you can do this stuff. All right. Now, on average, guys, when you're talking about YouTube, making money with YouTube, that's not what I want to focus on. In the beginning, you're not going to have that many subscribers. We all started with nothing. We started with zero. But here's how you can actually start getting subscribers to your YouTube channel. Now, if you don't have a channel already, you know, you need to choose something that you're already doing and documenting the journey. OK, you can document the journey or something that you're passionate already about, something that you're currently doing, you're passionate about it and then start showing people the process on how to do it. Now, those are the ways that I actually started making money with YouTube by selling my own course. For example, this month, my course sells for my JVZoo back office from November to now December is $70,000 for the month. Now, this is where you opening a YouTube channel, this is how you're going to be smart about it, guys. Let me go ahead and go to AWAP and we'll talk about the strategy in 2018. If you open up a YouTube channel, how you're going to go about it to start making money. OK, now when you start a YouTube channel, OK, so let's say YT project, you know, YT 2018, 2018 for you. So I'm going to show you how you can make $3,000 a month. Now, we're not going to concentrate on this number you see over here. That's not what we're talking about right from the beginning. It's not going to work that way. So the way I did it in the beginning, I started my YouTube channel because I was already doing affiliate marketing. I created an ebook. So when I had about 500 subscribers, the way you're going to get 500 subscribers. So your main goal when you first started, you want to hit a milestone of 100 subscribers. And that's not hard to do. First, for some of you, you might have to overcome your fear of getting in front of camera. Hey, one of the reasons people don't want to make videos is because they say, hey, I don't want to get in front of camera, cater. Your goal, you need to think about your goal, not how you feel. Okay, when you build a business, don't think about how you feel because your feeling change. Someday you're going to feel excited. Oh, I want to get in front of camera. Some other day you're going to feel like, oh man, I'm too ugly. I'm not pretty. You know, I have whatever, whatever reason that you're going to have bumps in the face. You're going to give yourself me a different reason. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's because you're thinking about yourself. OK, I want you to stop thinking about yourself. I want you to think about your goal. OK, your goal is to get 100 subscribers. Your goal is to get to three thousand hours a month passively with YouTube in 2018. And that's going to help most people quit their job. Most people, not everybody, but most people or just a side income stream for most people. But utilize the strategy. OK, first milestone, you're going to make um, you want to get 100 subscribers and how you get subscribers in the end of your video. Ask people in the beginning of the video like this video. If you're watching, you haven't subscribed to my channel. Go ahead. Click down below. Subscribe. Hit the notification 
notification bell so that you can always be notified whenever I drop new content. So you ask people to do that and they're going to do that in your video. So you provide content and then you ask people to subscribe to your channel. Now, the most of the money, like I show you on YouTube, YouTube made me 3K, but for my own courses and stuff that I'm selling, I made 70. So now how you do that is first, this is how I first did it. I created I created an ebook. Okay. So first thing when I was actually doing it, I created my ebook right now. You can get the ebook. I'm giving it out for free, but I, I always, I used to sell this ebook for $14.99. So this is the page for the ebook. This is the ebook I was actually given out, you know, the absolute online money making guide. So that's an ebook that I wrote. It's about 23 pages long. I just model after something else and then I kind of involve my own story into it. And then I was selling this book for $14 to my subscriber. That time I only had about from a hundred to 500 subscribers. Okay. So it was about 500 subscribers when I released that ebook and I had a hundred people bought that book, that ebook at $14.99. So that's when I had, so your milestone to get to a hundred, right? So when I had 500 subscribers, I did an ebook. Okay. So out of the 500 people, a hundred of them bought, bought the ebook at $14.99. Okay. Times $14.99. So times $15. Okay. So I made an extra $1,500 that month when I released the ebook. So that's when my eyes opened like, Oh my God, like I don't have that many subscribers, but I made $1,500 with my YouTube channel. So this is how you're going to plan it out. If you have something you already know how to do, you get your own ebook, create a little ebook. Sometimes you can actually, even if you don't know everything to write inside of the ebook, you can go to site like Fiverr. You can hire writers, just let them know your ideas, some key points and how you can help other people in what you know. Okay. Then you have your first ebook and then you can sell that ebook to the people because here's the thing when you're doing with YouTube, although you're going to get to a thousand, some people trying to get to a thousand hours a month, it's going to be hard for you. You must understand numbers because YouTube is actually, let me put that from the side for, for note. When you make a thousand hours a month with your channel, when your channel actually get to 1000 hours a month, you are actually going to get about four, about 600, 650 of that money. So you still, YouTube is going to take about, well, not even 650. Is it 650? Yeah. Cause YouTube is going to get about 45%. So 45% of that, not even, you're going to get 550. So you're going to end up getting $550 when you get to a thousand dollars and YouTube is going to get the rest. Why? Because YouTube pay you about 65% and they keep 45% of the money that you're going to be making. So it's going to take some work to get there. But remember, if you learn how to monetize on the back end first, you can start making money, right? So when I hit about, 2000 subscribers. I was telling people to subscribe to my channel. I released my first course. Okay. This was my first course. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I released my first course online. Now this is when I was, you know, I was probably making about $300 with YouTube. Um, it wasn't that much, no, not $300, $30 a month, $30 a month with YouTube, not that much money. I released my first course right at 2000 subscribers. That course, because I had other following other places, not just with YouTube, but people bought that course. I had my first 100K month, guys. Literally, that was my first. Now, it wasn't every month after that I was making 100K, but it was the first time I had 100K in a month in my business. That was with 2,000 subscribers, guys. 100K month. It was mind blowing. You know, the next month, I think I did like 75K, and then the next month, it started dripping down because everybody kind of got it. But it was, it was mind blowing to me. So, you want to create a course, like you want to create something, and this course is only for $67. This is this. So the ebook, so I kind of gradually take people from, you know, a little investment, which I call a bridge investment because it's just the door, the opening door investment. It's not something expensive. It's not breaking people's pocket, you know, something like $14, which is the ebook. So people get acquainted with my information, with what I have to offer. And then I go up to a $67 course and then boom, from there, people start spending money with me and start seeing your content. And that's how you want to do it. You want to start people 
from them investing with you and then they start seeing your content right and then you know that was like I said, it doesn't happen with all my course. So that was unrealistic, right? So let's say let's say you did the course and you was let's say you was selling at sixty-seven. Um let me see. Let me grab this. Okay, let's say you, you have you know two thousand subscribers now and you create a course and you're actually selling the course at sixty seven dollars. Okay, just like I did right now. Okay, sixty seven dollars and then you ended up getting um, let's just say you ended up getting a hundred people to buy that course guys, a hundred people. Now you have 2000 people. You can get a hundred people. Just if you think about 5%, you can, you can get 5% of people to actually spend with you. Not everybody, just 5% of your following to spend money with you. You're going to end up making 67 G's. That's, that's a lot more money than YouTube is actually going to pay you. That's in the back end. Most of my money is coming from the back end of my channel. And that's what I want you to understand. When you built when you built a business with YouTube, with your brand, you want to build a back end so that you can start making money. Okay. So after you did the course, the next thing that you can actually sell, you can actually sell stuff like um, let's say now you get more people from the course to subscribe to your channel. Now you get like five thousand subscribers. You know, you can start selling like stuff like Skype session. So you can do consulting, Skype session. You know, when I first started, I was selling my Skype sessions um, about $150. Then I increased it to $500, then to $1,000. I have people pay me all the way up to $2,000 for one hour of my time just to explain to them some of the stuff that I'm going to teach you. But again, you set the price. You're an entrepreneur. You set the value on how much you're worth, how much is your time, and I guarantee you, if you set it to be at $100, you'll find people to pay you $100, right? If you set it to be at $1,000, you'll find people to pay you $1,000. You just have to be able to deliver on the material. And once you know your stuff, you set the price. Nobody's going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you, hey, your time is not worth it. Who am I to say that, right? So you set up the price that you want, whether it's going to be $100, $100 to a thousand dollars, it's up to you. But see, here's the thing: if you don't offer it, nobody's gonna buy it. So the thing I started doing is offering my coaching, my Skype session, and then people started buying it. So if you don't have it, nobody knows it exists. Nobody's gonna buy it from you. Okay. Another thing I started doing was coaching. Okay. So when I started getting to like eight thousand, I started doing a lot of coaching because people Alert from Google Chrome, red circle. A lot of people started reaching out to me. So when I got to 8,000 subscribers, I started doing coaching session. And my coaching sessions where people can come and coach with me for six months, I started out with $5,000. I was charging people for coaching. And now it's $7,000. I'm taking it to $10,000 for what I can teach people on how to do, right? So coaching session where you can actually coach them. So what I did, I built a coaching site. And then when people coach with me, I get, you know, testimonials from them on what I've been able to help them establish. So that's why you can see all these testimonials on the page. And I kind of break down what they're going to learn inside of the coaching. So that makes even more money in the back end. Now, you're talking about your YouTube making $3,000 a month. Now, imagine if you sell one coaching package in one month. That makes more than what you make on YouTube. If you sell a coaching package for a thousand, for two thousand, for five thousand, now your goal is one sell will make you more than what you make with your whole channel. So now you can see how in 2018, now how you can do stuff like that, and then you can sell little stuff like t-shirts and different things that you can sell. You can sell a higher course value. So, you know, I jumped from 67 to, to Skype session, but you can have another course that's for, you know, 497 and you can have another course that's for 997. So you create an ascension model. This is called an ascension model where you take the person from a lower ticket course and then you grow them to a higher ticket course. And that's how you start making more money. So you might not have a lot of subscribers Every day you create content so that you can start getting more people to watch your stuff and more people subscribe to your information and whatever you're providing that's high value to them is going to start making you money. Okay. So now as far as YouTube goes, um, you must understand that you're not going to start making money with YouTube right away.
Like for example, YouTube average CPM is about a dollar per thousand views. Like the reason why my CPM is so high is because I'm, an, I'm in a different niche. Like people that do comedy, that do funny skits, that do pranks and all those other things, you know, I have people that's in the makeup industry and the CPM is a lot lower than mine. And the reason so is because there's so many people competing for the same, you know, advertisers money. So therefore they pay a lot less. That's one reason. And the second two, the second reason is that they have a lot, a lot less buyers. So people that's watching prank and comedy they're not pulling out the credit card and buy a course and buy a product so therefore the traffic is, is a lot less valuable to the advertisers now if you in niches like you know um, health wealth relationship those niches people buy like let's say someone um, advertise an ebook or they advertise of courses people is gonna go and they're gonna buy so therefore it becomes to the point where we um, that YouTuber's content is very valuable to the advertiser. So they are willing to pay Google a lot more money to get in front of that traffic because they know that traffic is going to take action, is going to buy things. So that's why, you know, if you in those niches, you can still make money. But that's why the CPM is a lot lower than than for most people. So if you're looking to get to a thousand dollars with your YouTube channel, you got to take in consideration that most channel, the CPM is about two dollars per thousand views, guys. Two dollars per thousand views. So every time that you get to one thousand views, you get to two dollars. Mine is a lot higher. Like I said, the reason for that is because of my niche. Okay, and you gotta think about YouTube keeps about forty-five percent. So YouTube cut is forty-five percent. So you only have your <laughs> yours is only. Um, 55%. So you get to keep 55% of the money, which I'm grateful for, but you can do a lot more. That's why if you follow the strategy in 2018, you could make a lot more than some of the big time YouTubers you're seeing out there because the only content they have, the only way they get paid is through Google AdSense. But if you follow the strategy I teach you here, you're not only going to get paid with Google AdSense, you're going to get paid with your own courses, you're going to get paid with um, your own ebook, you're going to get paid with your own coaching, your own consulting, you're going to get paid with your own um, higher ticket course, with your own t-shirts, whatever that you want to sell. So therefore, it's like having a store, right? It's like having a store. If people come to your, if they come in, you don't do nothing with the traffic, you don't monetize the traffic like I'm showing you here right? You're not going to make money. So if people come to your store and you don't tell them what you have to sell, if you hide everything, they can't see them. Guess what? Or you don't have anything for them to sell. Therefore, you're not going to make any money. But if you have a store and you have different packages, different stuff that people can buy from you, guess what? You're going to start making money. So I hope you start a YouTube channel. I hope this stuff makes a lot of sense to you. If it does, leave a comment down below and also check out my other my other videos. If you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe, leave a comment, um, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can always be notified when I drop new content because I do them every day um, as we grow to the next level. Now, if you want more information on YouTube, I have a free webinar. I'm going to put the link down in the description. Um, it also show you even more in depth and how you can increase your money with YouTube, what you need to do, um, some of the strategy that I use. But anyway, hopefully this was a good lesson for you guys. Um, if you want to be a winner for the contest, definitely leave a comment and at the bottom of your comment, leave your paper or email. I'll choose one of you before the 22nd of next month and send out $100 too. That was your boy Cater. I'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys later. Bye.